Hey what's up folks, in this project we're making an LED lamp with NeoPixels. This uses several NeoPixel rings to make a modern style looking lamp. We designed and 3D printed a single piece to hold the LED rings in place with SnapFit diffusers. They're grouped together and arranged to look like they're gravity defying. In total, this has 124 NeoPixel LEDs. It has one 60 NeoPixel ring, two 24s, and a 16 NeoPixel ring. To make the assembly modular, we used PicoBlade Molex cables so they can easily connect together. The 3D printed holder features slots on the back that allow the cables to pass through. We use the LED animation library for CircuitPython to create this animation sequence. It's easy to modify the parameters so you can customize the animations to fit the feel of your project. The animations are grouped together and depending on the type, they can have their own speed settings and different colors. It's really the best way to get NeoPixel animations going in CircuitPython. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The 3D printed parts are printed using PLA without any supports and they snap fit together. The 60 NeoPixel ring is four quarter sized PCBs that are soldered together using lots of solder. Be sure to check out the learn guide for a full step-by-step -step tutorial on wiring up these NeoPixels. The rings are pressed into their specific spots with the wiring coming out of the slots. They're daisy chained with the data flowing from the large ring at the bottom to the smallest ring at the top. The PicoBlade Molex cables are soldered to the pins on the back of the NeoPixel rings. The wiring is pressed in between the edges to keep the PCBs tightly fitted into the holder. The rings are oriented so the cables can be easily connected together. The remaining cable is soldered to the data pin and then voltage and ground. The Raspberry Pi Pico is pressed into the 3D printed case with the PCB facing the opening for the USB port. To secure the case to the ring assembly, we used machine screws to attach the top cover to the bottom of the ring holder. The remaining cables are threaded through the top cover and connected together. An additional base is fitted under the 3D printed case for added stability. The Raspberry Pi Pico can be powered by a 5V USB power supply using a USB battery bank or the wall outlet. An extension cable with a built-in switch can be used to make it easier to power it on and off. We hope this inspires you to try out CircuitPython for your Raspberry Pi Pico. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.